We got a crazy day ahead of us. RJ's basketball game. I'm meeting with the dude that does my screen printing to get those X Fat Boy shirts done. We're scrambling. We had a crazy morning. But we all here, corny as ever, with our Bricks Fitness t-shirts. Right, come put it in, just bring it in here. Put it, put it in the trash. Go, go, go. Oh yeah, so look, Con Conrad, he's uh, the owner of Crossfit Norfolk and he also does screen printing. So. How are you guys doing? Good, bro. Lovely, lovely weekend. What's Bill, this is uh, Robert and Camille. Yeah, How's it going? Oh, you guys okay, have met already? Yeah, we all met. Phil, nice to meet you. We're babysitting, so these aren't all ours. Man, y'all are got your hands full over here. Appreciate <laughs> right. you, bro. Just keep me posted. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. So we just pulled up at Wawa, and they got, they got Girl Scout cookies. I've never had Girl Scout cookies. So we're gonna support you guys today. How you guys doing? Good. All right. Um, how much? Coffee tasting. What are these? Um, Those are made of cookies. So we just pulled up at the game. Beat them by 20 points. You want to win by 20? Yeah. All right, that's your goal. All right, so that was his prediction. He said he's at that, least 10, but no. Let's go for. Let's stick with 20. I like that. So you're gonna you're gonna win by 20. Game time. Game time. Yo, this dude got like 16 points. What do you have? 21 points, 3 assists. My man went off. That was the best game of the season, boy. Alright, so we're at IHOP. I did not want to come here. Oh, I did. They wanted to come to, they wanted to come to IHOP, so I don't want pancakes though. So what am I gonna eat? I'm gonna I know I feel like I just want real like lunch food. Yeah, I don't know. We'll they got burgers and fries. Yeah. Yeah, good, up for bad. Okay, yeah. I can't complain. Knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So we're at the park right now. RJ just had a great game today. Oh, you can't see him. I can hold you up. <laughs> anyway, let's just put it down so we can see RJ. <laughs> Alright, that's better. Come on, RJ. So we're at the park. He had a great game today. And before you got, so we're, we're about to put in some more work. I explained to RJ that in order to be elite, in order to be the greatest, you have to work 10 times harder than everybody else, right? So with that, uh, with that being said, right after his game, we ate, and now we're about to do some conditioning work. Before you guys start, huh? You couldn't see me again. All right, before you guys start, you know, commenting, oh, you're making them, you, you're working them too hard, or let me explain something to you. This boy expressed to me that he wanted to be the greatest player to ever play the game of basketball. That's that, that's something that you want, right? Mm -hmm. And one time last night we, I had an AAU of practice, mm -hmm. and I said I wanted to be there 30 minutes early. Yeah, because that's a habit that we're forming. You know, he wants to be the first person in the gym and the last person to leave. I'm just giving him the tools. I'm giving him the opportunity. I'm giving him the platform to put the work in that it takes to achieve his particular goals. His particular goal is he wants to be the greatest to ever play, and that's going to take 
extraordinary work, extraordinary time and effort. So I'm not forcing him to do this. He, he, he understands that in order to be the best, for one, he has to be the most conditioned player on the, on the court, which means a lot of exercise, which means a lot of work, and he has to be, he has to play the best defense. So we work on defense and we work on conditioning. Did you tell him how aggressive I was in the game today? Oh yeah, now nah, they're gonna see the they're gonna see the footage from today. Okay. They seen how aggressive you were. You were. You ready to get this work? Sure. Let's go. Of course I am. So I'm training with my son. Y'all could not imagine how good this feels because this was a part of my vision four years ago when he was only four years old. I had a, it, this was part of the reason why I decided to change my life and I decided to lose weight because I knew I was gonna have to train with my boy. And had I not lost the weight, I wouldn't be able to train with my boy. So this feels so much better than you can even imagine. Oh, I feel so blessed right now. I don't feel tired. You don't feel tired? No. Feel All right, let's go. Let's let's do some more sprints then. What, what's, oh. what's, we on sprint number eight right now, right? Yeah. All right, we got four more. Come on. So now we're back home. Listen, we ended off the practice with him playing one-on-one -on -one against a 12-year-old, right? He's eight. This 12-year-old was on the other court doing all types of crazy dribble handle moves. And I'm like, all right, that'll be a good uh, you know, exercise for him to play this kid one-on-one. -on -one. He thought he would beat me. Listen, when I tell you RJ cooked this little kid, I didn't I didn't record any of it. But um, I have I have I, I got the last I got the last play on my Insta story and I'm gonna post it right now. Guys, right, point game, seven three. What you gonna do, boy? Let me see what you gonna do. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. Where that's how you feel? But anyway, we're just trying to share the wellness. We're just trying to show you guys what it takes to live elite. You know set them goals high tell your friends to subscribe to the channel make sure everybody subscribe if you didn't just subscribe subscribe right now you better subscribe they better subscribe right you better subscribe all right until next time y'all get well and peace out